Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Len Marie. I'm going to use six different products. They're all really, really affordable. The, the most expensive one is $15. And with that, we're going to, you know, cover up some of this breaking out and ugh, we're gonna look a little bit more live than we look right now. Everyday, natural, laid back look. That's kind of why I'm just like, in addition to the products, we're only going to use, I grabbed like, two eyeshadow brushes and you're gonna need a beauty blender or this is the Fenty sponge something like a sponge or if you guys like brushes also uh, if you guys have watched my channel at all um, I don't know if I've ever said this but I am I don't know should I tell you guys now I don't know like you guys will know in the next video but okay you know what I'll say it now I'm going to LA in two days and I am on my spring break and I am so, so, so excited. My room is a freaking mess. I've been packing and packing and packing for like the last week because I want to bring the perfect outfits. I'm going for four days, five nights, and I just couldn't be more excited. I am a college student in New York and I don't know what I wanna do with my life. I've kinda like said that before. I'm studying psychology, I'm studying communications, but I've always loved LA, I've always loved acting. If you guys look at my channel, I have acting videos. I do singing, I do makeup. I'm, I'm all about the makeup, I'm all about the glam, like I love that kind of stuff. And you know, if I ever move, decide to move to LA one day, you know, I need to see it first. So I am so, so excited to be saying that I'm going to LA in two days with my mom. It's gonna be a little girl's trip and I'm super, super, super excited. So blessed to be going and I just wanna see it. I, I can't stop smiling. Like my face hurts from smiling. I'm so excited and if you guys look at my nails I did my nails for the trip and I did SNS. I know I'm kind of I'm like always late on everything, but this is like a new trend uh, like a healthier alternative to uh, Gel and acrylic nails or something like that. They have like uh, sparkles in them and they're super super cute Without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so you guys uh, zoomed on in a little bit. So we're gonna start off with the foundation. Now, my everyday go-to is this bad boy right here. This is uh, L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation in the shade N3 Neutral. And the reason I love this foundation so much is that it is perfectly my skin tone. It's the craziest thing. I've never found a foundation that matches my skin tone more. I know that's not like universal, so whoever I'm speaking to doesn't at all have the exact same skin tone I do. It's impossible, everyone's different. Besides the fact that it's exactly my skin tone color, it never fails to just cover everything up and it doesn't say whether or not specifically it's for dry or oily skin i'm not sure but i do have combination skin but more on the oily side and it works very very well for me so if you guys are like that it will work well for you the thing about it is it is healthy and luminous and glowy but it's not sticky it's not like dewy it's like it still almost has a matte finish but it's not matte looking it's still glowing and it's literally $11.99 at Ulta, and I think it's even cheaper at other places like convenience stores. We're going to apply this right onto the face with a sponge. Ugh, I don't know why I'm like breaking out so, so much lately. Like, I haven't been to a dermatologist in a while, but I feel like, you know, I've been to dermatologists in my life to help me with my acne, and it's just like... I go, they give me the products, the products work, and then what, like five, six months go by, and it's like, what do I, do I keep using this forever? And then your refills go away, and then you're like, okay, my skin looks good, maybe I'm over this stuff. So what I did is I stopped using the prescriptions that I needed to use. It was like just topical treatment, and it worked really well for my skin, but then when I stopped using it, it was like everything just wanted to come back on me. It's really frustrating, and I feel like, you know, I don't know if there's a solution for it. I feel like sometimes no matter what I do, it's just like, ugh, that's why we have foundation. Found it the other day and I was like, is this foundation good? Like, I was trying out the foundations I have because I wanted an alternative to the Fenty one. And I used it and what do you know? I found 
my new favorite do you guys see like i brought it down on my neck but this is like such my color i hope it's showing up on the camera i know the camera can do some crazy things i wouldn't say this is full full coverage but it's like medium to full and i only did one layer so if you guys want that full coverage um it is pretty buildable when i use it so i think that should work out for you guys next product we're gonna do hula this is my go-to bronzer when i don't have time to do cream contour i just go straight to the powder right after the foundation and i'm going to use this that it comes with so that you guys can see how to use it when i first started with this i would always go the long way like this and i realized that's not the way to do it what you want to do is do like one two three not the skinny way the wider the wide way and just kind of brush back bring it up higher than you think you have to and then here you're gonna go like this and brush back so yeah i don't know if any of you guys are from la um it's gonna be my first time we're doing i don't know should i tell you guys now or should i wait for you guys to see my vlog maybe i'll give a little sneak peek we're gonna do the whole i'm telling you i have a lot planned for four days hopefully see the hollywood sign i don't know how close we can actually get but the hotel that we're staying at is pretty close to everything that i want to do we're also going to go to the beach for one full day uh we're gonna go to malibu i'm just going to kind of go over all right now we're gonna take a little bit more of this but on one of our eyeshadow brushes and we're just going to line our nose a little nose contour now we're gonna go over it the next product that i have here is a highlight it's also l'oreal um and it is called magic lumi i don't know if i'm saying that correct this is it right here so we turn the bottom until look at that the product comes out there i don't know if i'm crazy about this contraption but because now it's like you have it right there and this is supposed to be like a brush just follow along with me okay so we're almost going to use this as a highlight and conceal type deal two in one shampoo and conditioner two in one i freaking hate those i need a full bottle i need a full bottle of conditioner for my hair because my hair is crazy let's just go ahead and pack that in so far, everything that I've used is stuff that I've used before. However, this next product is al almost going to be like a first impression tutorial type deal. I've never used this. I've been waiting to use it on camera. The City Mini Palette by Maybelline New York. And this is what it looks like. And I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond for $7.99. However, it is $4.39 at Target. Here it is. I think I did swatch it once actually when I first got it, but I uh, have yet to use it on my lid. So we're going to see how it performs with brushes and the whole deal. There's like three mattes and three shimmers. Oh, okay. The shimmers, the shimmers are picking up pretty well. This is the top row. See, it is very, this first color here is like, is there even a color there? And then these two, you know, I mean, I can work with it. This is the bottom row. And I have to say, the shimmer colors um, perform much better than the mattes. However, this matte color right here, that's going to be great to deepen up the outer corner. First, I'm going to dip into this as a transition shade. And we're going to put that right into the crease. This is my Morphe M504, by the way. I'm going to link all the products that I used below. So don't worry about that. Transition colors aren't always something that you have to see. However, this is giving a little bit of color. So far, that laid down pretty beautifully. Let's see the blending capacity of this palette. We're going to take this little guy right here that we used for our nose earlier. Reddish, magenta-ish pink. Right into the crease right in the crease literally just keep it there don't blend it out as much as the other one that's why i'm using a smaller brush almost carve out the eye blend it up a little into that first color that we laid down this dark brown color and we're gonna place that in the outer corner just 
kind of, I like tapping it down and then start going in on it like that. I'm always better blending out my right eye than my left eye. <laughs> Honestly, these colors are blending very, very well. They're just not so, so pigmented, but some people like that. So I can't, so far so good. I'm going to take an index finger. These are pretty buttery, not too powdery. Um, so far, I'm not seeing so much fallout. And we're going to place that right into where our lids are still showing. Guys, this is not bad, like, at all. We're just going to work that right up here under the brow bone. Yeah, it is pretty light. I'm not sure if that did much. I'm going to go back into this a little and just put it over my eyebrows why not we have two more products and that is the maybelline the rocket volume mascara that's supposed to have a top that's this color but when i took it out the very first time it literally broke slim i just put a different top in it so yeah this is really not this then because this is like a completely different product then so we're gonna just do the lashes All right, guys, this is the end look. Um, all you gotta do is pop on your favorite lip gloss, chapstick, whatever. I'm a big chapstick girl. I use chapstick a lot. I think it gives a gloss and a little bit of color. This is like my everyday look. I always use this foundation, and when in doubt, this is what I'm bronzing with. And then this is, you know, I use these two products. Eyes, lips, boom, boom. And, oh, my mirror. This is a really good highlighting thing. And then, when in doubt, I just do a little something to my eyes. And today, we got to check out this baby. My final thoughts on this is, for the price, I think you do get some really beautiful colors. So, I'm really happy with it. I actually think it's a good product. The only thing is that this top color for highlight is really not pigmented. The shimmer colors in here are actually beautiful. It's a good price. And overall, I think this is a good little one to have handy to go on the road with or something like that. I think I'm looking much more alive than I was when I started this video. Yeah, so I gotta get back to packing, but I'm so excited. So I hope you guys tune in for my next video, which is going to be a vlog. If you do want to follow me in real time, follow my Instagram. It is lenmarie12 and I will be posting stories and putting up just posts, keeping you updated about my trip. I'll probably be posting one a day while I'm there. I could talk about it much longer, but I feel like this video is already long enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you here in my next video, which is going to be exciting. Okay, bye guys.